OK, the idea of this experiment is to show you the effect of a catalyst. Now I've got here a beaker full of hot uh, reaction mixture. It's, you don't need to know the chemicals, but the, when they react together you get a lot of gas given off. But there's no sign of any bubbling occurring at all. I'm just going to transfer a small amount of the hot liquid into a boiling tube. And then I'm going to add a catalyst. Now the catalyst I'm going to add is cobalt chloride, a pink solution. And if I just squirt the pink solution into the flask, you'll see, okay, the solution goes pink. And slowly you see a few bubbles start to appear. Uh, not many, it's a bit slower than I expected. And you see the colour changing. The pink colour is going, it's gradually going brown. But the reaction is pretty slow at the moment. Having said that, it is reacting. There are some bubbles forming. And as you can see, it gradually starts to get a bit faster. And I could have heated this one up a bit more, perhaps. Maybe it's cooled down rather a lot. Um, but the colour gets darker, it starts to fizz a bit more. And after a few seconds, you can see it's fizzing quite vigorously now and the colour changes to green. Now, the catalyst is speeding up this reaction. Without the catalyst, there was no reaction at all, in fact, it was so slow. Uh, at least not the temperature we could heat it up to. But with the catalyst, it's fizzing away quite merrily now. And remember, it started off pink and it's now green. The most important thing about a catalyst is that it speeds up a reaction without being used up. So at the end of our reaction, our catalyst should still be there. Now, at the moment, we haven't got any pink stuff left, but the reaction hasn't finished. And if we just give it a few more seconds, it's nearly finished reacting now. You might see the green colour fading getting a bit paler, going back to brown, and then finally we're going back to pink. So our catalyst is still there. Maybe just get the last bit of gas off by shaking around a bit, and there we've got our catalyst. Now I can prove that that's still there, prove that it's still a catalyst. If I add a little bit more of the reaction mixture, what I started off with, and immediately goes green again, starts fizzing again, so the catalyst is still there, reacting very quickly, give it a good shake up. Reaction is pretty much over and the colour's fading again and it should come back to pink. There we go. So that's how a catalyst works. It speeds up reaction, but it does not get used up.